what's up everybody today i thought i'd do another um what i eat in a day type video i'll do some french toast today threw some of this collagen in there so that's gonna be 10 grams of uh collagen nine grams of protein i'm gonna put everything up on the screen right here so that you have all the information and i'll be keeping track during the course of the day what we in into now what i took today was not this collagen i just i got the bulk supplements and i poured it in here i already finished this one so the thing is that the bulk supplements it bulks up, it clumps up, right? Had it been this brand or, or Vital Proteins, it wouldn't do that as much. Now, we're gonna do the French toast with some um, regular whole milk. I'm not gonna use the almond milk, which is what I normally drink, but when I'm doing pancakes and stuff like this, I use whole milk because I'm not sure how the alm almond milk will hold up. So we're going with this. Put in half a cup there, Not nothing nothing crazy. So again, this has... um. It's going to be 80 calories and it's going to be, oh, it says a lot of fat, 4.5 fat. That's 9 fat, but I put half the cup. So still going to be quite a good amount. Now, I'm gonna, these are Happy Belly cage-free eggs and they're the brown ones. So here it says uh, 70 calories per egg. So we're going to stack another 70 calories there. 5 grams of fat. One. Uh, let's see. 6 grams of protein. All right. You see how that stuff is clumping up like that? You see how it stays chunky? Throw some cinnamon up in there. You're gonna need cinnamon because you need cinnamon for French toast, right? Okay, now while I'm mixing this, the cinnamon right here for the toast, I'm gonna grab a little bit of butter. I'm gonna throw it on this frying pan. The butter melting right here. I might have put more butter than I need it. So maybe I'll take the rest out right now and start throwing them in there right now. This looks good already as well. That's a nice mix to it, a nice color to it. Now, I'm going for French toast. I like to go with this thick sliced, like, like the French toast real thick. Uh, the brand I'm using here is Nature's Own Perfect Crafted Thick Sliced. Right there, it says um, Bright Style whatever that means so yeah this is what i'm going with now i'm gonna put the again the calories and so forth on the screen right here so you so you know exactly what we're getting i got two slices so it says each slice is its own serving so that's i guess two servings right so we're really gonna rack up the the calories the sugar and the carbs right now okay now you simply dip it this way then you turn it around and dip it this way into the mixture which i'm gonna do right now There's one slice. Now let's get to the second slice. All right, so the French toast is ready made. You want to leave it about three minutes on one side, then you flip them over three minutes on the other. Um, now what I'm going to throw on there is this Blue Weber's Agave Syrup. I gave up on the regular pancake syrup. This is much better for you, and it still tastes just as good. Now this has, uh, right here, 90 calories for two tablespoons, right? That's one serving. 90 calories and it has 23 grams of sugar uh, and 23 grams of carbs. Now the regular pancake syrup has about 70, right? So it's almost double. This is 11.4 ounces and it's about five, six bucks. The regular pancake syrup is about three bucks and you get about 30 ounces. This is 11 ounces, so it's a lot more expensive. But trust me, in the long run, your body, it'll thank you. You know, eat a little healthier, do little things like this. It still tastes really good, guys. And it's uh, organic because it's from agave, right? So this stuff is, uh, your body will thank you. you eat, uh, be a lot healthier. Although to, uh, what I'm noticing now that I kind of uh, made a little changes in what I eat is to eat healthy, it's more expensive, right? There's a reason people buy, uh, people gain weight and they eat all this bad food is because it's cheaper and maybe sometimes uh, it's not in your budget to, to have these luxuries, right? Luckily, I'm in a situation where I can do uh, little changes like that and it doesn't uh, kill my pocket too much, right? Powder sugar on top, that always makes it taste better. Now this sugar is gonna have a, a 120 extra calories I'm gonna add to today's uh, meal, right? 58 grams of sugar and 30 grams of carbohydrate. So we're getting a bunch of fucking sugar in today. So now what I'm gonna add to this is uh, an omelet. So for an omelet, I typically like to throw two eggs in there. The egg's pretty good, I got two of them in here. So I'm about to drop an omelet up in here. Again, the calories and so forth, I'll be putting them on the screen so you'll know, you'll have a really good idea 
pretty accurate um, to what exactly um, I'm consuming. And also on my omelets, while they're on the grill, I like to throw a little bit of cheese so it can melt up in there, right? So I like cheese in my omelet. This is gonna give us, uh, I like mozzarella. That's the goat of cheeses to me is mozzarella. I also like uh, pepper jack cheese, it's pretty good. And there's other other good brands there, Gouda and whatnot, but my go-to is mozzarella, you know, the type they put on the pizzas and, and so forth. Now this one is a uh, low moisture, uh, part skim that says, right? So here we're gonna get 80 calories, six grams of fat, two carbohydrates and one gram of sugar, but we're gonna get six grams of protein, so that's not too bad. All right, there you see the omelet. Now I throw some cheese on this half because I'm about to flip it in half right now. It's gonna be kind of like a quesadilla, you could say. Um, but I said the omelet's gonna be the, the tortilla, right? Tortillas has a lot of empty carbs and empty calories. All that does is uh, it's meant to get you full, like bread. It doesn't really give you any substance, any vitamins or anything, right? Uh, also, I forgot to, um, I ate some, uh, I drank some cold brew coffee with a little bit of almond milk when I had my breakfast. I forgot to include it right now, so I'll put everything over here. The calories, the fat, uh, the carbs, and so on and so on. Alright, so next I'm going to do my pre-workout shake. And then in about 20-30 minutes, I'm going to get my workout on. So again, I'm going to put the calories here, sugar, and everything else, right? Right there, so we could keep track of the intake for that day. Because this is uh, what I eat in a day video. So I want to make sure we get everything down. So, we, so we're as close to accurate as possible, right? Um, after the pre-workout, I'm going to wait, wait about 20 minutes, then we'll get our workout in. Um, I didn't have a lot of calories that I ate today, I had a big breakfast. So I'm going to try to double up on the, on the exercise, and in general, I'm going to try to do longer exercises. Try to go to 30 to 40 minutes. Um, you know, you do have your good calories, and you have your bad calories. I had a lot of calories today, and they were not good calories. I had a lot of fucking bread, right? Uh, and that's just empty, cal empty calories, right, with no substance to them. I did have some eggs, which are healthy for you. They do carry a lot of protein and so forth. So, uh, yeah, let's just get that workout in, and then I'll uh, get back to you. My mom's a bitch. You don't feel like killing me. I gotta take a leap, so I put on my house slippers. Gotta shake my dog, so I grab my clippers. It's sunny as usual. Another day to put it down. And all the dust settled in my town. I got happy when my dog got out. I had to run him down about two shot out. I broke down the mix and why I got out. I gotta make this money, man, this what it's about. So from the East County to the South Bay, to my posse's on Broadway. that hungry right now uh, but I do like to have snacks sometimes while I'm watching TV and so forth I try to cut down on like chocolate bars uh, popcorn ice cream all that stuff I kind of put it to rest I do still like to eat potato chips with sour cream and stuff like that and a soda but uh, today this is one thing I've been doing I've been snacking on a lot lately I've been buying a lot of these um, Lunchables I know they're like for kids and so forth but I like to use them as a replacement for like a chocolate bar or whatnot right it's a little healthier than, than, you know, that would be. So I'm going to give you here this. I'm going to eat this right now. It says right here, it's 260 calories. So we're going to chalk it up right there. 13 grams of fat. 21 grams of carbohydrates. And 13 grams of protein. So that's real good. Chocolate bars are not, ain't going to give you any protein. And we're also going to get 4 grams of sugar. So I'm going to wash this down with one of these. I've been uh, drinking these a lot. GTS Alive. They're kind of like sodas. The root beer is almost exactly like a root beer soda. This one is uh, ma matcha vanilla. So what this tastes like, if you like matcha, uh, green tea and whatnot, it has that flavor, but also has a strong vanilla extract type flavor. So you're gonna get that flavor. It's a little funky at first, but once you get used to it, I kind of enjoy it. I still prefer the root beer one a lot more. So now this, this is the killer right here. Check it out. This is 16 ounces. It has 
20 calories. Bro, like that's that's insane. Only 20 calories. Right? And it has um 14 grams of carbohydrates, 5 grams of sugar, and uh, no protein. This is supposed to be real healthy for you as well because it says it has ancient mushroom elixir. It has rahishi mushroom, which that's really good for you. Then it has turkey tail mushroom and shaga mushroom. I'm not too familiar with the other two, but I know rahishi is pretty good for you. I got that powder to throw on milkshakes and drinks sometimes. Um, it says here, the immune system, it says here in the bag, and they're good for um, for a lot of other things, right? Inflammatories and uh, it's overall just like, like vitamins for you, right? It's plant-based and so forth, mushrooms. So I'm gonna grab two cookies and uh, that's gonna be seven grams of fat, 140 calories, uh, 19 carbohydrates, nine grams of sugar, one gram of protein. So that's gonna be it for today. Um, usually I try to have a, I either have a second meal or a milkshake, but today was just one of those days where, you know what it was? I've been drinking a lot of water today. I, I, I'm gonna let you guys know this. If you drink like four or five bottles of water per day, it keeps your stomach full. So it, it, you don't really feel as hungry because your stomach's convinced it, it's full. It got food in there, right? Even though it's just water. So that's it for today. Um, if anything I took from this video, watching it back right now while I, was, while I was doing the first half of the editing is, I only took in 60 grams of protein. The last, this is my second what I eat in a day video. The last one was also around 60 grams of protein. That needs to be at around 85. Uh, and just happens to be that on these two videos when I actually recorded myself was days when I didn't need a lot. But a lot of time I try to have either a protein shake or a second meal, right? So the protein is usually higher. Uh, so I need to pick that up. Just some days it's, it goes on and off. Some days I have two meals, some days I have one, right? Um, so yeah, that's what I took away from it. I will be doing my next video. We'll be talking a little bit about um, little minor changes that I've done in my diet and so forth. Things that anybody can do, right? Like things that, that you should be able to, to keep up with on a daily basis for the rest of your life. They're, they're not drastic changes. Things such as changing your whole milk to almond milk. That's a big change right there. I'm going to do a little uh, video telling you little changes I've done that can work for you as well. And I guess that's all we have for today. Right now, I'm going to get back to my video. I got this girl on pause. I'm obsessed with this channel. Love it. Love it. We're going to be uh, Star Lord and Gamora one day. But yeah, guys, other than that, uh, hopefully you like the video. You go ahead and uh, hit that like button. And uh, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. That will keep you updated for my next video. Got a lot of good videos coming up. So other than that, I'll check you guys out next time.